Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I'm going to show you something you should do in Lightroom at least once a month to make sure that your Lightroom is operating smoothly. Were you ever in the library module Lightroom and you may go up to the top library menu and you go down and you could see synchronize folder and you might be wondering what is that all about? Well, what that does is it will look into the folder on your computer that you happen to have active in the library module of Lightroom and it will look for images that are in that folder but aren't in your li Lightroom library and it will give you the opportunity to get them into your Lightroom library. It will look for images that are missing, meaning they're not in that folder. Lightroom thinks they should be in that folder, and it will give you the opportunity to delete them from Lightroom. Or you even could go back up here to find missing photos, and it will give you the opportunity to find them on your system and get them in that folder so Lightroom now sees them. The other thing it does, it will look through uh, all the images and check the metadata and make sure that the metadata for the image written on the image matches the metadata that has that Lightroom has in its catalog. Often we send images off to plugins and plugins will edit the metadata of the photo, but Lightroom doesn't recognize that that plugin edited the metadata. So we have two different versions of metadata. We have the Lightroom's metadata written in the Lightroom catalog, and then we have the actual metadata that's in the image. This, when you synchronize the folder, it will give you the opportunity to update Lightroom's catalog metadata with the actual metadata that is on the photo. So it does those three things. Now what I recommend you do, you can do it on the individual folders, but what I recommend is at least once a month, go to the root folder. Uh, this is the folder that contains all your other folders. That way, when you synchronize this folder, it will look through every single folder in Lightroom, every single image in Lightroom, and make sure everything is synchronized. What you could do is you could just go to this root folder. My root folder happens to be called Lightroom Raw Files. Yours probably isn't called that, but whatever. Go to the folder that contains all the other folders click on it. You can go then up to library down to synchronize folder, but what I like to do is I just click on it, then right click on it and go down to synchronize folder. And when you do that, this little dialog box will pop up and it's going to go through each of those images. Now on my computer, I have 74,667 images. So it's going to take a while to look through all those images. Hopefully uh, you have less and it will take less time. Now what it's doing, it's doing those three things. It's going through each of the photos, making sure they're in that folder, and it's looking in the folder to see if any images are in that folder that aren't in Lightroom, and it's looking at the metadata of each of those images and make sure that it's the same as the metadata in Lightroom's catalog. So it's doing these three things right now. Once it's done counting, you can see it says counting, once it's done, it will show if I have any images that aren't in Lightroom, that are in a folder. And it will show if I have any missing images and it will give me the opportunity to just get them out of Lightroom because they're missing. Maybe outside of Lightroom I deleted them and Lightroom doesn't know I deleted them. Well, you could tell it now, that's what that does. And then it will do those metadata updates if needed. So this is probably gonna take another minute or so. So I'll pause the video and when we come back, we'll see what it found. Okay, it did find one photo. That means that somewhere on my system in one of these folders is an image that isn't in Lightroom, but is in that folder. Now, if I just click synchronize, it'll automatically just bring it into Lightroom. I have the option to show the import dialog before importing. So what it will do if I have that checked is when I click synchronize, it will come up with the import dialog and show that image. Now there is one specific reason why you may want to have that checked. Every now and then, if you don't have that checked, what it will do is it may find duplicate images. That means images that are in folders that are already in Lightroom in a different folder. 
And if on the import dialog, you have that one checkbox checked called don't import suspected duplicates, what will happen is if I just click synchronize now, if this one photo is already in Lightroom in a different folder, Lightroom won't import it. It's just going to come up with nothing. And you're going to wonder, why is it doing that? And you're going to synchronize it again, and it's going to show the number of images again, and it's going to not import it. It's not going to tell you why it doesn't import it. That's why it's kind of maddening. So for this demonstration, let me click this box. Normally I don't, but let me click that show import dialog before importing. So I could show you that checkbox I'm talking about that you need to make sure is unchecked to bring in duplicate images. All right, so we are going to scan for the metadata updates to, to still, and we'll click synchronize. Now again, because I have 74,667 images, it's going to take a little bit. I may have to pause the video, but when we come back, the import dialog box should be open, and it will show that single image that is in one of my folders, but not in Lightroom. Okay, it found my single image and it opened up the import dialog. Now again, the reason why you may want to have this, uh, that checkbox checked to open the import dialog first is that sometimes um, it won't bring the images into Lightroom because it's a duplicate image. And that's because in the import dialog, even though if you didn't open it, you have this check, don't import suspected duplicates. What, because of that, if this image was already in Lightroom, uh, it would be grayed out right now. Um, so I'd have to uncheck this box in order to import it. Another advantage of bringing up the import dialog box um, is that you could add metadata to it, an import preset, you could add keywords to it. Now you won't be able to uh, move it or copy it or do anything like that. You only could add it to Lightroom uh, from exactly where it is. It happens to be in a folder, one of my folders somewhere. So it just gets added uh, right where it is. And so I'll just click import. So again, that's the advantage of bringing up the import dialog box. The disadvantage is it's a little slower. It has to go through um, it just, it seems like every single image all over again, and it takes a little longer. And here's the image that um, apparently I had in a folder on my computer, uh, but Lightroom didn't have it in the library, and now it is. So that's how you do it. Again, I just want to rehash that because it might have got a little lost in the translation. If we go back to the synchronized folder, um, that is this box, show import dialog during before importing. You don't have to check that, and most often I don't. I'll just click synchronize, and it will just automatically import those images without bringing that import dialog box um, up. But what will happen is, if those images are already in Lightroom in a different folder, because that don't import uh, duplicates is checked, that checkbox, um, it won't import them. And you'll be dry, it'll drive you crazy. You'll be wondering, why does it keep saying I have new photos, but it won't import them? And you'll run synchronized folder several times and it still won't import them. Just then bring up that import dialog and then uncheck that box and you'll be able to import them uh, that way. So that's what I suggest you do. And I do suggest you synchronize the root folder of your uh, Lightroom library. Um, it, I would say if you're an average photographer, meaning you you know, go out and you shoot maybe every week, at least once a week, synchronize your folder at least once a week, particularly if you're using plugins, because most often these images seem to get lost and the metadata gets screwed up when you're using plugins. So synchronize your folder often, your root folder often, and um, you'll make sure that you have everything you should have and it should be where it should be. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>